Hey there, my name is John, and I'm one of the host specialists here at Greg Distributors. Today, on Gear Up with Greg's, we're going to be discussing the benefits of the Campbell Crimpnology system. If you want to be notified of more great content like this, hit that subscribe button, or you can leave us your thoughts in the comments section below. But for now, let's get back to the task at hand. What exactly is Campbell Crimpnology? Unlike hydraulic hose that is machine made and retains a consistent outside diameter throughout its length, industrial hose is exactly the opposite. Industrial hose is hand built and will have a different outside diameter measurement throughout the length of the hose. And this makes crimping industrial hose that much trickier. On a hydraulic hose, both ends within the same size, using the same fittings, will have the exact same crimp diameter. More than likely, with an industrial hose, every end you crimp within the same size, with the same fittings, will have a different crimp diameter. So how do we efficiently and safely assemble industrial hoses? That's where Campbell Crimpnology comes in. Campbell Crimpnology is a trademark name for a hose crimping system designed by Campbell Fittings. This system is designed to give you precisely measured and easily repeatable results when crimping industrial hose. It can be used with any brand of hose by obtaining measurements from each end to be crimped. However, it only applies to using Campbell Design hose shank fittings with Campbell crimp ferrules or sleeves. The Campbell Crimpnology system is perfect in many industries including oil transfer, chemical processing, fuel delivery, water transfer, and many more. Taking a look at the fittings first, the shank is the component that goes into the hose. The part of the fitting that remains outside of the hose is the coupling end. Some of the more common coupling ends are NPT thread, ANSI flange, and grooved ends. Today we're going to focus on Campbell's Crimpnology nipples. The shank end of these fittings are smooth and rounded at the base. This will help promote a smooth entry into the tube of the hose without causing damage. Once crimped, this rounded end also helps relieve stress near the end of the fitting where a lot of assemblies tend to fail over time. Unlike many hydraulic fittings that bite into the cover from the outside, industrial hose fittings bite into the tube from the inside when crimped with a ferrule or sleeve. In order to protect and bite into the tube with the best results, Campbell's Crimpnology and Chem Joint serration patterns are rounded near the base and sharper near the coupling end of the fitting. This design allows for maximum retention and sealing without causing damage to the tube of the hose both during assembly and while in use. To complete the Crimpnology system, these fittings are designed to work with the Campbell ferrules. The ferrule features a rolled edge designed to lock into the machine groove of the fitting creating a true interlock. This is where the coupling system differs from a traditional crimping sleeve. This interlock provides a point of attachment between the ferrule and the fitting before any crimping is done. After crimping is complete, the system will help promote a long-lasting, secure hose assembly when in use and under pressure. It also promotes an inline, low profile look that has no sharp edges. So, now we've gone through the components that make up Campbell's Crimpnology system. But what exactly is the benefit of all this? Well, Campbell has created a fitting and coupling selection guide 
to not only make the hose assembly process easier, but to help you establish a true working assembly pressure. The assembly working pressure is always based on the component with the lowest rated pressure in the assembly. For example, if you have a 200 PSI hose, but your fitting and couplings are only rated to 100 PSI, the assembly rating will be 100 PSI. But if you're assembling a hose that's rated to 500 PSI, and your fitting and couplings are rated to 1000 PSI, your working pressure for the assembly will be 500 PSI. Let's touch on another important factor, safety, and safety ratios. Many hose manufacturers use a 4 to 1 safety ratio when it comes to working pressure versus burst pressure. That means that a 100 PSI working pressure hose will have a 400 PSI burst rating. This is where Campbell Crimpinology makes choosing the right fitting and attachment combination for the job much easier. They use a similar factor when testing and determining their published working pressures. This burst pressure safety ratio ensures that before a fitting blows off, the hose itself is more likely to fail, while the fittings are retained on the assembly. Now, let's head over to the shop and see how everything that we've been talking about is put into action. We need to determine what type of hose is needed for the application. You can learn more about how to do that in our Heads Up for Hosers video series right here on YouTube. Let's take a look at what's in a hose. For this example, we're going to use a Continental tank truck hose with an inside diameter of 3 inches. This hose is rated to 150 PSI working pressure. Next, we are going to use a 3 inch Campbell Crimpnology nipple with a male national pipe thread. If we refer to the Campbell Fittings Coupling Selection Guide, we can see that a 3 inch Crimpnology nipple with a 3 inch ferrule is rated to 250 PSI working pressure. Taking all these factors into consideration, our assembly working pressure will be 150 PSI. Keep in mind that this chart is based on 21 degrees Celsius ambient operating temperatures. If the application you are working with has higher temperatures, this will affect the working pressure rating of the assembly. In an effort to make the safest and most accurate hose and fitting selection process, Campbell has also created a derating system for pressures based on temperature. For more information on this, contact your local Greg distributors and speak with any one of our hose specialists like myself. We would be more than happy to help you out. Following the Campbell guidelines, we will then determine our crimp specification for the hose, fitting and ferrule combination. We start by measuring the hose wall, as it's easier to measure and more accurate than the hose outside diameter measurement. Based on that, we use Campbell's Crimpnology chart to identify the ferrule or sleeve precise crimp specifications for the appropriate fitting. But before we crimp, we take our ferrule and we use it to mark the outside of the hose. Here at Greg Distributors, we use a paint pen to do this. That way we can tell if our ferrule is inserted at the full depth. Next, we install our fitting to the proper depth within the tube of the hose. We can now reference our depth line as a double check to make sure that the fitting and the ferrule are positioned correctly for crimping. We are now ready to take the assembled end to our crimper and crimp to our predetermined specification. After each end is crimped, we will measure the crimp area with a caliper. Once we have established that both ends are crimped within the recommended tolerance of our specification, our assembly is now complete. Now, you can see with the ferrule and fitting combination, we've created a sleek, low profile assembly. Aside from looking good, using these fittings will help reduce the chances of an assembly getting snagged during use. And don't forget, at Greg Distributors, we also have the ability to hydrostatically test your hose assemblies as needed. The hose section of our catalog has a number of different fitting combinations to make assemblies, but if you are ever unsure of what hose, fitting, or coupling is right for your application, please don't hesitate to contact us. 
one of our 100% Canadian hosers will be happy to help. Or you can visit our website at gregdistributors.ca. Again, I'm John, and thanks again for watching Gear Up With Greg's.